And bonded condition in general is, is difficult. So today let me illustrate some of the very basic ways to handle boundary conditions for equations that exhibit wave-like behaviors. Okay. We're going to start talking about boundary conditions for scalar PDs. And the simplest type of equation we want to look at, again, uh, we are looking at the linear advection equation. Since we started talking about conservation laws, this is a simply an equation of a scalar conservation law with f of u, the flux equal to what? What is the flux in this equation? If a conservation law, conservation, oops, if a conservation law is written as partial u, partial t, plus partial f of u, partial x, equal to zero. What is the flux in this case? Yes? Big u, will you? Big u times small u, right. It's a linear function of u. What is the characteristic, what is the characteristic speed of this equation? Big u. Hmm? Big u. It's just a big u. Remember the characteristics? They are df d small u, which in this case is equal to big u, exactly. And if there are shocks, what is the speed of the shock? Or speed of discontinuity? The speed of discontinuity is equal to f on the left minus f on the right divided by u on the left minus u on the right. Or it's delta f over delta u. In this case, if f is a linear function of u, what is delta f over delta u? Again, it's u, exactly. So all the wave and all the discontinuity, everything propagates at the same speed u. Now, in this case, how, what is the proper way of setting the boundary condition? So let's consider two cases. First case, u, big u, greater than zero. And we no longer consider an infinite domain or periodic domain. We consider the domain between zero and L. So this is x, this is u. Imagine I have an initial condition like that. What is a proper way? So let me first ask the hard question. What is the proper way to specify the boundary condition at L? At x equal to L. Remember when big U is equal to zero, everything, continuous solution, discontinuous solution, they all propagate towards the right with a positive speed. So can I set a Dirichlet boundary condition at x equal to L? Let's say u equal to zero. Can I do that? No, I can't. So what are the probably what are the type of proper boundary conditions I can set on x equal to L? Can I set a Newman boundary condition? Can I set the derivative of u at L equal to zero, for example? Would it allow the waves to probably propagate out of the domain maintaining the shape? No. No boundary condition <laughs> can be set at equal x equal to L. So, so this is something I want to emphasize is you should not set any boundary conditions. So no boundary condition at x equal to L. Okay. At x equal to zero, on the other hand, you can set Dirichlet boundary condition, you can set Newman boundary condition, you can do a lot of things, you have a lot of flexibility at x equal to zero, right? So, so at x equal to zero, you, sh you are free to choose your boundary condition, BC is boundary condition, all right? 
And the second case, you should be able to use the same logic is u less than zero. What is the proper, proper boundary condition at x equal to zero? In this case, the wave propagates towards the left, right? So what is the proper boundary condition for the, for the, uh, at the boundary where the wave is coming out of the domain? No boundary condition, right? So there is, shouldn't be any boundary condition if the waves are going out of the domain over here because information goes from inside the domain to outside the domain there shouldn't be any information coming from outside the domain and the boundary condition is supplementary it's basically information coming from the boundary from outside the boundary that's what boundary condition gives you it gives you information from outside the boundary so so here, uh, at x equal to L, we are free to choose boundary condition. So these are a scalar conservation law, a scalar, uh, a scalar and linear advection equation. So we can generalize, of course. I won't write it down here, but like we can generalize. For a nonlinear PDE, if we have characteristics that are not a constant U, how does the boundary condition work? Works the similar way. It just depends on locally is the characteristics going towards outside the domain or it is coming into the domain. Okay, so in that case, if you code up a solver, which you will do to solve a, a nonlinear scalar advection equation. I mean, nonlinear scalar conservation law. The proper boundary condition to set at the boundary may be time dependent, right? So may, you have to adapt your boundary condition, actually adapt whether you should set a boundary condition or not, depending on the solution U at the boundary. If the solution U at the boundary at that moment turns out to be allowing the characteristics to go into the domain, that is when you should set a boundary condition. When the solution u is such that when you evaluate d after u of that u, you find the solution to be going, you find the characteristics to be going out of the domain, then you know this is not the right time to set a boundary condition. The boundary condition, what we mean by boundary condition is you're setting the value at a particular spatial location for a range of time. Here, you need to, for, for example, if you set a Dirichlet boundary condition, you need to set the value of u at x equal to zero for a range of t. The boundary condition you, you should give is a function of t only. For example, you can set it with a constant, zero is a perfectly fine function of t. Or you can set it to be linearly increasing as a function of t, either way. For example, if you set this to be equal to zero, you would see the wave going towards the right, and whatever is left over, so you see the same shape advecting towards the right, and the range becomes zero once the wave shifts away from x equal to zero. What if you set this to be a function of t? What, what if you set it to be equal to just t, for example? The value increases as time increases, and you are going to see a wave that is not zero, but you're going to see oh, the same wave going towards the right, but on the left side, it'll be that. Because the value here is the wave, here is from the boundary condition at an earlier time, here is from the boundary condition at a later time, and here is from the boundary condition at even a later time. How do I do stability analysis when the domain is not periodic? So first of all, you need to make sure the discretization. If you don't have any boundary condition, if it is periodic, it is stable. Once you have the boundary condition, you can't do the Newman stability analysis anymore. You need to look at the matrix again. So you need to form the matrix and look at whether the matrix has any eigenvalues or uh, that let. So I'm just going to slightly touch uh, what you have to do if you have multiple dimensions. Okay. In multiple dimensions, you have a domain, so let's say this is omega, and you have 
when you do characteristic speed analysis, for example, if you have partial u, partial u, partial t, plus this case u has to be a vector, right? Or let, let me just uh, write it clearly. Uh, big U X partial U partial X plus big U Y partial U partial Y. If you write this big U vector equal to U X U Y, then the same equation can be written as partial U partial T plus a U vector dot with the gradient of U equal to zero, right? And in this case, the flux is a vector is equal to the uh, ux u and uy of u, which is equal to this big U times small u. <coughs> this is my flux. And of course, you can still analyze the characteristics. The characteristics is partial f, partial u, which in this case is this vector big U. Now, you have a vector big U that goes that has a that you can draw on the boundary. And in this case, it's again, it's very clear which part of the boundary is appropriate for specifying boundary condition. Can you tell me in this case which part of the boundary is appropriate for specifying boundary condition? The yes, the part where the velocity goes into the domain. So I can specify boundary condition over here, uh, here maybe not, and over here. So this is the range where it is appropriate to specify boundary condition. And the rest of the boundary, no boundary conditions. All right, any questions? This is the scalar equation case, which generalizes to the system of equation case.